Welcome everyone to this latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey, your host. Well, welcome everyone. What an exciting time of the year. We've uh, moved into December and that means that we're getting closer and closer to year end and there's a lot of things. I'm sure each of you are incredibly busy. If it isn't making phone calls with donors, it's preparing for Christmas parties, gatherings, uh, special buying opportunities with major donors or for our staff team. There's just a lot going on right now and I know this is a busy time. The fact that you're even watching this video is most appreciated. I can't thank you enough. Not long ago we went over the 500 mark for subscribers and I thank you so much for that. If you haven't already subscribed, I want to remind you to please subscribe to this channel because we still have four really exciting videos coming up for the remaining po portion of this year that will highlight on ways to improve your year-end giving. And so I'm really excited for us to have the opportunity to be together to address an issue. Let's jump right into our first question. First question today is from Johnny in Knoxville, Tennessee. Johnny says, what do I do if I'm getting a late start implementing my year-end strategy? Any tips? Well, Johnny, thank you very much for that question. Yeah, I know that it's so difficult for many of you, as busy as you are, to just dive right in to get a, um, a, a big jump on this effort and this process. I started producing year-end videos and emails and um, social media messages way back in October just so each and every one of you would start to uh, get a reminder, if not plant the seed, for the need to get an early jump. Uh, I tried to do everything I could to practice what I preached and uh, get my matches early in November and get my own letter out. Uh, I think many of you know that I raised my own personal funding as well as funding for the organization where I serve. And uh, it means that uh, modeling that uh, means that I have to not only get out those letters early for our corporate organization but also for my individual funding as well too so I'm hit with a double whammy in there so I understand exactly where you're coming from and not every year have I been able to really get a jump on things but I was able to do it this year and uh, I know that some of you have been able to I've already had some conversations with a few that got uh, letters out to their to their donors uh, mid to late November I've uh, got some that got it out the day after Thanksgiving or the Saturday after Thanksgiving all those are great but if you're watching this the first week of December or even in early December um, that means that maybe you haven't actually started yours either and uh, you may be like Johnny and I would say that don't stress over it don't worry the bottom line is to get started just do something I know many of you agonize over your year-end letter sweat just profusely uh, about what's in the content of that uh, that letter or that email uh, I have colleagues who I love dearly who just are perfectionists and spend days weeks even months sweating over the content of their year-end letter and so I understand where you're coming from and so but my tip to you is to just dive in and get started uh, putting pen to paper or putting your fingers to the keyboard and uh, just start to get down into the letter uh, I have put out uh, a few videos on successful letter writing and successful strategies at year end I'll put those uh, out I'll put that playlist out there and uh, also I'll, I'll put some of the videos at the end as well too so that you've got an idea about this but as I said just get started that's the key and also too don't feel like this uh, you know for the perfectionist don't feel like this letter has to be perfect because if you do what I recommend in my other videos I recommend calling people and following up and frankly whatever you miss whatever you don't communicate whatever you have issues with that things that may be left out in your letter or email at your end you can include in a follow-up phone call so I would really uh, just not sweat the content of your letter 
uh, get something out as quickly as possible and begin to follow up on phone calls. And frankly, even if you get to the point where you can only make a phone call to people, go ahead and just do that. Pick up the phone and say, I'm sorry, I had every intention of getting something out to you, but let me tell you uh, about what some of the opportunities that we have with our organization at year end. And don't forget, once again, to remind them of the successes over the year. Pick one story and just focus in on one changed life. A changed life is so important and so motivating for people at year end, whether they've given in the past through the years or never given uh, at all. Make sure that you share with them a story and make them feel included in that story that they had a part or will be able to play a part with a person like this that was mentioned. And then just simply ask them, would you be willing to play a part with us this year in our ministry efforts? Once again, I've done some videos, uh, especially my most recent Jim and Java's on whether to present designated or undesignated money. Um, I always prefer the opportunity to go designated versus undesignated. But if all you can do at this time of the year is just say, help us with our overall needs, then that's great. That will be sufficient. The fact that you did it, uh, doing something at year end will be the thing that you find is just so important. And make sure that you thank people. I just did a video recently. I'll put it in the uh, above, I'll link it above. But on making sure that you thank people uh, at year end, the numbers are staggering into the 80% nowadays of number of individuals who give to nonprofits and never receive a thank you. And so make sure you thank your partners uh, and your donors at year end. It's so important. So as Nike would say, just do it. That's the key. So Johnny, I hope that helped. Uh, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like. If you have some questions or comments, you can always put those down in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to go out to Twitter at DevFStrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you prefer Instagram, I'm out on Instagram quite heavily nowadays. So uh, you can reach me at Dev Effectiveness Strategies. Follow and uh, certainly uh, just uh, comment in the section to uh, if you've got questions for me. I respond to every question, so put it out there. And of course, if you need to email me, just do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com. And as I always say, I wish you success and wish you that you strive to increase your income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thanks a lot. See you next week.